Guys, today the sharing of spiritual wisdom is the origin of the fear, the origin of the fear, the source of the fear. And what is fear? What are the sources for fear? How do we come out of the fear in our life? Okay. So let's see. Let's uh, try to understand the subject in, in depth. Okay. So let's take a deep dive into this. So my dear friends, the fear, there are many kinds of fears. Everybody suffer in their own life. What are those fear? The fear of water, getting into water, somebody feel fear. Getting into darkness, somebody feels so much fear. So somebody fear about the devils. There are devils, right? Like that. Somebody fear about the fire. Somebody fear, somebody fear about the defeat, losing something, isn't it? And somebody fear about the stage fear, talking on a stage. And somebody also fear about losing some respect. I may lose some respect because of something. You also get some fear. Somebody gets examination fear. Somebody facing the interview fear. Somebody facing going by lift, getting into the lift. Somebody fear also have some kind of a fear, isn't it? And also some of the people will also get fear when they are meeting new people. So likewise, friends, there are many, many kind of fears, right? So in general, all the, all the people is to face one or other times by one or other person. So in this life. So the source for all these fears is only one thing, my dear friends. That is, source is fear of death. Okay. The fear of, fear of the death is the source for all these kind of fears. Any fear, whatever it may be. Right. When we know that, when we know that there is no death, there is no fear. Simple. As simple as that. When we know that, there is no death for us, for us. So there is no fear at all. The fear disappears, obviously. So it disappears completely, permanently. Okay. So then how do we know that you know there is no death for us? So let's understand, let's analyze the subject more and more, friends. When the, when you have no fear at all in your life, what are the kind of what are the kind of qualities you will live with your, with your life? You have a lot of uh, braveness. You have a lot of uh, peace in the mind, happiness in the life. Also, you have highest amount of concentration. You have memory power. You have a lot of satisfaction in the life, right? You lead ha life happily, joyfully. And also, you can help others, in fact. Because you are leading a happy and joyful life because of no fear with you, no fear with you. Then you can help other people. Obviously, you can help in the greater way. So, that is that is a the advantage of not having fear by your friends okay so at the same time if you see if you look at the the great uh, the great uh, mentioning in the bhagavad gita and all other uh, you know the all the scriptures our own old scriptures they mention very clearly about you know particularly about the the no death no death that means you have no death so that is mentioned very very clearly in many instances by many the great gurus, great masters, and the great epics of India, isn't it? So such is one of the case, like Yogi Vemana, Yogi Vemana in Andhra Pradesh, right? What he says in Telugu, one poem is there. Chadivi Chadivi Chavanga Nela, Chadivi Chadivi Chavanga Nela, Chavuleni Chadu Chadavalet, Chavuleni Chadu Chadavalet. That means maybe some of you might be understanding, some of you might not be understanding. I will try to decode into the English, okay? So that means. You go on, read, study, 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 many studies. But, so no study will teach you how to live permanently. No study will teach you, no study will teach you how you are deathless. Are you deathless? No study will teach you, no study will make you understand your deathless power or your deathless character, right? You are deathless basically. You have no death. So no, no education is going to give you that knowledge, friends. So that means studying so many, so many education like this, you know, go on studying education. Chadivi, 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 chavanga nela. Chavanga nela. Chavuleni chaduvu, chadovalen. That means you need to study the education which teach you or which is permanent. That kind of education. The education which teaches about the permanency, which is eternal, which is non-changing, which is eternal. So, whichever the education teach about, teach that education, you must study. Everyone has to study in, in his own life, in your own life, my dear friends. Then only what happens is, obviously, you will be coming out of all these kind of fears. No fear will, no, no fear, no fear will haunt you. 
right so that's why so we always need to study everything like this only we need to study this kind of education we need to remember always like this see the fear is a death fear is the sin right fear is a hell fear is always hell fear is a death fear is a sin always you can remember so fear is unrighteous life right fear is wrong life fear is also a wrong life basically all negative thoughts all the negative thoughts and negative ideas in this world the negative thoughts and negative ideas in this world will start will be originated out of the fear my dear friends this is quoted by uh, swami vivekananda he has quoted in his uh, book what did he say fear is death fear is sin fear is wrong fear is uh, wrong fear is unrighteousness right fear is a wrong life all the negative thoughts will be all the negative thoughts and ideas will be originated from the so called fear in the life my dear friends so if this is the case then how do we how do we need to live right isn't it so we need to definitely live without fear without fear when do you live without fear when do you live without fear how do you understand how do you understand how do you come out of this fear basically when fear is there these are the disadvantages i which i explained so far all these uh, disadvantages all this you know so called the negative aspects of fear which i explained right now but at the same time we need to understand deeply and analyze right analyze how do we come out of this fear i will try to give some examples for you so that you will be able to understand so very clearly so let's say one one boy okay i'll give you some few examples so that you will be able to understand your the permanency of yours and uh, the deathless deathlessness right the, the deathlessness and no death the no no death is the your real character okay so all that you will understand slowly slowly you will lose the fear of everything once you lose the fear of death you lose everything all the fears will be disappear then you become a braveless brave brave brave, brave full person you become happiest person you are a satisfied contented right you are you are you have highest memory power concentration what not so everything you can display all the highest qualities within your life my dear friends you can live joyful life and wonderful life blissful life you can always lead isn't it when there is no fear because when there is no fear there is no fear of death what 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 other fears will haunt you what other fears will come and disturb you no other fear can come and disturb you when you really understand the fear of death there is no fear of death so that's the ultimate truth my dear friends so let's understand that in a deeper sense right so for example i'll give you so here one boy he has grown his nails okay these nails it's a longer way and you know he looks he looks like he looks that you know the growing the nails like a fashion he feels that and one day all of a sudden by due to some accident or whatever it may be that uh, nail got cut then he feel so painful like you know he was uh, uh, so interestingly with a uh, affection and love he, he grown the that nail so he got cut then what happened he, he, he felt a little painful okay then his friends saw that and then they laughed at him okay fine so the next day what happened the same same boy got accidented okay the both legs got cut both legs got cut then the doctor has told him if you if you want to survive these two legs must be cut completely then only the infection will stop otherwise you can't survive then the boy says i am important my legs are not important i am important try to make a note of this point okay i am important but my legs are not important please do this please do that doctor so he says that means here what is, what is, what it is coming to you what is the message you have to understand is here mind mind means body mind mind uh, mind means this is mind what do you say this body is mind but i am not that body okay i am different my body is different okay i am using this body i am inside the body i am inside the mind but this body is not mine this mind is not mine this only i am using it they are the they are the tools okay they are the tools i utilize here as long as i am here on the earth planet i utilize if i leave then this both will be thrown out thrown out here it means what uh, what is it uh, says what what he is trying to say is so my body is not important for me i am important that means i have to survive i have to, i want to be in this body for some more time so please cut the two uh, legs right it means the body is separate he is separate so he is always there you want to be here you don't want to go somewhere 
where you want to go where does he go if at all if the legs are not cut you go you need to leave this physical body and go to the other side that's called other side other side means other the higher locus higher worlds he has to depart isn't it so that means he is always there either he is here if he is dead also he will be other side that means he is deathless isn't it you need to understand this very carefully friends so your he is deathless basically he is that i is non changing i am is non changing but mine is always changing mine always goes bad mine will be distracted mine will be non permanent so that's that's what you need to understand okay that's why the body is not permanent but i is permanent i is non changing i is eternal right so now let's take the second example friends so what will happen is one person he was operating machine somehow his hand gone into the machine okay gone into the machine and stuck in the machine so what happened is now the complete body is going inside then suddenly so some somebody supervisor somebody observed so he has to cut the hand he has to cut the hand then he says if i don't cut the hand your entire body will go inside then he says no 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 please cut the cut the cut the hand no problem you give permission to cut the hand but he has you want to survive see, see here what's happening you want to survive he means his soul want to be staying in this body for some more time definitely as long as it can so but his hand going out his hand is cutting off has no problem for him okay so then it's also it is also inferring the same message same kind of message isn't it at the same time friends so for example your shirt is there your shirt shirt got fired you got burned for example and you are burning basically so at the same other time what you do those shirt is very you know uh, like a favorite favorite shirt for you and you you purchase the highest cost whatever it may be but is getting it got burned that means got fired fire got, fire got attacked to that and then it's getting burned then what do you do you throw out the shirt you throw out the shirt and then you will protect yourself isn't it so it means here so i am important i am important but my sight is my shirt is not important i am important i want to survive but my shirt is not important for me so this is also one of the message you will get it friends so the fourth example i'll give you so let's say one person he has earned good amount of money 100 crores money he has got okay now so his own close aides or his own uh, maybe you can say is a driver or whoever it may be he plan to uh, uh, kill him for the sake of money for the sake of money he want to kill him just for the sake of money then what will happen now so you think that okay money is not important for me if i am surviving it's okay let 100 crore go go i mean 100 crore let it go but i want to survive so then what will happen you will run away from there you will leave that 100 crore cash there but you will run away from that place isn't it then you will survive you want to survive so this how friends so these are the things what happens is always we try to we, we try to give an importance for i we have to give the importance for i mine is not important my dear friends mine is never important that's what you need to understand so for example you say you take one more example so all the farmers they do cropping they do harvesting everything sometimes they get losses also then for the respect say what what they try to do they try to commit the suicide isn't it they try to commit the suicide but they'll also find the more importance of their life basically isn't it so sometimes so they definitely feel the importance of life so they definitely some people won't commit it because of life is important for them that respect is not so much important isn't it so likewise friends we need to understand what is important is here is so mine is very important i have to be always staying there i have to be always staying there so at the same time friends let me discuss so the the importance of this i or mine so with a one more example beautiful example for example my weight my language my color my dress isn't it my all the things my friends uh, my friends and uh, uh, whatever my car my bike whatever it may be all surrounding me whatever mine 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 you just see all of them they keep changing they keep changing isn't it including your body including your body also keep changing how just uh, take an example for example you are you were 3 years old sorry 3 months old a uh, small kid okay three months small three, three months old small kid that time also what what you will say this is me right i am this what do you say i am this so that means i am showing one picture of your at you when your age at the age of 3 3 years old or 3 months old also if i show that what did you say 
this is me this is i am you say that then when you grow old for example if you are at uh, 30 years old again i'll show you the picture what do you say but the body is grown up now body had changed already the body is growing continuously isn't it the body is growing that means height is growing weight is growing everything is growing but at that time if i ask you who is this you say that this also i am that is also i am this is also i am but that i am that i am not changed that i am or i is not is never changing but which, which is changing this mind is changing the body is getting changed okay body is getting height weight everything is getting, getting changed that is why this i this i iness right i i am that is always permanent never changing non changing permanent my dear friends okay so when you understand this is your character if you understand this is the character of your i or your soul see this i is refers to directly refers to soul my dear friends what is that i that which is never changing non changing eternal that is your soul consciousness so when the soul consciousness if you really come to know if you get the good knowledge if you get the good realization through meditation swadhyaya sajan sangatya when you are doing it you will definitely get the awareness about the soul awareness about this non changing and permanent thing which is called i or soul consciousness my dear friends when you get that it means it means when you are, when you get this knowledge or awareness what will happen all that all the other fears will disappear because you already got the real knowledge the real wisdom so that you came out of the fear of the death first of all why you came out of the fear of the death you understood that this i never die the i or i am or the soul consciousness will never die what is dying what is changing what, whichever is changing friends whichever is changing is going is bound to die whichever unchanging or non changing will never die so that's what you need to remember so my dear friends some more understanding will take it for example for example so we don't remember anything during the night time isn't it so do we remember about our uh, our identity or whatever it may be when you go into the past sleep past asleep you don't remember about you about uh, where 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 do you sleep and what are you you don't remember anything right so at the same time death you see the death so death is unknown to us isn't it death is unknown so when the death happens we don't know anything we don't know anything when the death is happening similarly when you go into the sleep also you don't know anything what is happening there so then do you say all every sleep is a death no it's not that okay so death is a death is a long sleep life is a long dream my dear friends so just uh, these two statements please remember and try to analyze properly death is a long sleep it means you are in the long sleep that's all you are in the long sleep you are not died you are in the long sleep so it means death and sleep both are same in both in the both the aspects you don't remember what you are and where you are isn't it but at the same time so death is a permanent sleep or you can say long sleep isn't it the sleep is a temporary a temporary sleep only that means sleep what you say, every day you undergo that's a temporary but death is a permanent sleep or a long sleep at the same time friends that means you are in a long sleep when you are death when you are in the death condition when you are when you are died so when you go other side you are in the long sleep let's say there's a long sleep you are in the long sleep right now you means what you are you are soul your soul is in the long sleep but the physical body will be thrown out here not a problem at the same time i will also try to use this sentence life is a long dream life is a long dream we are in the dreaming condition friends there is no reality there is no reality in the life okay so physical reality is different and with respect to the soul consciousness or the conscious reality is different okay this physical world physical world is a changing world permanency always in permanency and uncertainty friends what happens now when you say life is a long dream means you are obviously always in the dreaming condition don't think that is a reality when you when you think is a reality then you are getting into the all unnecessary things of this physical world my dear friends of course it is required it is required to an extent okay to an extent limited format limited format 
never go deep into the all the things and then getting into that and getting attached to everything for the situations for the people for the uh, objects for the everything once you get attached to them then what happens you get into the sorrow you get into the so called worrisome isn't it so all this will happen that is why this has to be remembered for all the time my dear friends right so likewise friends even i let, let me tell you some more example see if you take a uh, this death aspect when i am talking about the death aspect many of the times right many people gone near to the death okay near to the death even doctors declare that they are died but what happened after some time they came back you know that these are there are many examples okay there are many examples if you, are, you want to understand so that means what we are not dying we are always there that means i that i i am that is always there it is permanent it is everlasting non changing eternal my dear friends that is why when we know the truth of the, when we know this truth when we realize this truth my dear friends then this is the source for coming out of all the fears it means what the so whenever we know that i am non changing i am eternal then you will come out of all other fears because the source of all other fears is the fear of the death so when you come out of the fear of the death then you will be obviously able to come out of all other fears friends that is the source so when we really know the truth of that you know the real truth of uh, fear of death when we understand it when we really go through it and when we realize it then what will happen there is no other fears is going to bother us right so we are we, are, we, we have lot of freedom now so we don't feel we don't get any fear about any other things everything looks silly for us everything is easy for us so easy taking so you know like uh, easy to easy to understand easy to do we never feel difficulty we never feel shy I, and we never feel fear of uh, doing any other things in this world my dear friends so there is a lot of freedom which happens in your life, in your own life my dear friends so likewise what happened the doctor so they also written good number of books you know the many people they told about near death experiences friends near death they got to near death then so those experiences have been recorded by the great scientists and doctors they have written wonderful books so beyond the veil there is a book called beyond the veil the book which is written by especially the near death is a near death experiences right so the lee nelson richard nelson the two authors lee nelson richard nelson please read this book you will understand many of the near death experiences of the uh, about 150 people they recorded about 150 people friends so this will give an example like you know we are always non changing eternal being and we have no death at all we have no death at all so when we understand we, we have no death there is no fear at all my dear friends in our life there is no fear this is what we need to understand and also try to read a lot of past life regression books my dear friends past life regression books then also you'll understand so there is no question of death for us only we change the you no know, so one room to other room like you know we we change one dress to other dress means we change this dress and we take a new dress when this when this dress particularly became old for example this this particular dress or a shirt it became old then what do you do you change this shirt they take a new set that's all that's all we do always is it and also so when we let, let's say uh, even one particular house right so if it becomes old you want to change it to new new house what do you do do you have an attachment there you have no attachment obviously you go to the new house right you, you vacate the old house you go to the new house similarly when this body becomes old it can't operate anymore this body has become old all the organs became old it is you are not able to operate properly then you have to vacate this you have to throw it you have to throw this body out here and then you go back you go to the other side then plan again and take the one more body one more birth and then come back to the earth planet and then start operating then start enjoying the life on this earth planet right so that's all we do so we have no death my dear friends we are always eternal beings we are all always existing we are everlasting, non-changing, 
uh, always a permanent beings in this whole universe. So that is why we have no fear at all. When we know this truth, when we realize this truth through meditation, so so sadhana sangatya like this, and through swadhyaya. So as you as you go on do it, you know, as you go on do uh, relent relentlessly, continuously, persistently, consistently. When you do, obviously you come to an understanding of this permanency of your being. Then there is no fear within you, and you'll be out of all the fears. Whatever you do, it will be ultimate. It will be so. It will be excellence, my dear friends. That's what we say. Yoga ha, yoga, yoga ha, karma su kaushalam. Yoga ha, karma su kaushalam. That means when you are with the yoga, when you are with the yoga, that means when you are doing meditation, when you are on the yogic path, what will happen? So whatever the work you do, any karma su kaushalam. That means what? Whatever the work you do, it will be at its excellence, my dear friends. And it's a far excellence, right? So that's how, that's what happens, friends. So thank you so much. This is what the details about what is fear, how to come out the fear, what are the what are the characteristics of you know the fear. Whenever you have fear, what type of uh, the what what type of uh, uh, the so called the inner experiences you take because of the fear, and uh, how you cannot operate your life at its fullest extent possible when you have fear, and how to come out of the fear. That also we discussed. So please. So everyone, everyone, uh, so try to make your spiritual journey so as much as possible and go steadily, slowly and steadily on the spiritual journey that will make sure that you will come out of this, any kind of fear in this life, my dear friends. Okay. Thank you so much. Dhanavad to all of you. Right. So anybody is having questions, please unmute and you can ask questions, right? Friends, anyone is having questions, please ask. Otherwise, you can express your experience. Express yourself, always. I told you in the last class also, expression is more important, isn't it? Talk something, whatever it is. What you would like to talk, try to talk, okay? Right. Unmute yourself and talk. Who is interested to talk? Nobody is interested to talk? Sir, how do you know my meditation is properly? Meditation properly? Uh, how do you know my meditation is running properly or not? When you go into the deep state, when you go to the empty state of mind, that means you are doing proper meditation. Okay? If, you, if it happens for 5 minutes, 2 minutes, that's also good. For example, you have no thoughts in the mind, 2 minutes. It's good, excellent. The next day, five minutes, no thoughts, excellent. The next day, three another ten minutes, the no thoughts, excellent. Right? So, like that, slowly, slowly it improves. Okay. So, how do you know that you are excellent at your game? As you go on play, as you go on play day by day, day by day, it improves. You yourself will come to know. You don't need to ask anybody. No other person can gauge your uh, spiritual experience. Only we can guide you, we can give the guidance. We can't uh, gaze or we can't measure what is your spiritual experience. You must be able to experience yourself. You must be able to gauge yourself, measure yourself. Okay? You, you feel peace at yourself. You feel happiness yourself, in, in, in yourself. So all, that are, all those are the indications of, you know, the good meditation happening within you. The meditation is focusing within you. Isn't it? Understood, Mr. Siva? Ah, oh, yes. Yeah. Good. Practice more. Practice more. Okay, thank you, sir. Practice more time. That means minimum one hour, two hours. Sit. Even if your mind is not coming to the standstill condition or zero condition, start, start learning how to sit. At least how to sit for one hour, even though thoughts are running, doesn't matter. But how to sit stable one hour, anytime is possible. Like you know, you could you, you might have not tried sitting for one hour, two hours continuously. But you must try. That's called asana siddhi. Get the asana siddhi first. 
then your my meditation will will follow okay okay right thank you sir uh, anjuri uh, yes. i just wanted to wanted to ask like uh, uh, during the meditation uh, can we uh, count our breath uh, just to uh, fo uh, have the more focus no 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 counting no counting because because not eating it... that in that sort okay yeah the reason is again your mind will just start operating yeah just if we be with our breath our mind gets um, here and there uh, let me tell you if you want do anuloma viloma and then start my this uh, anuloma viloma okay do the anuloma viloma for 5 uh, minutes 10 times or whatever then start meditation that's also good it gives the deeper concentration on your okay It, it increases your focus But during, during meditation we, we should not uh, we should not count uh, no, yeah. no, no, no. we should not count our breath or we should not focus uh, between our foreheads not required not required okay. no chanting no mantra no japa no visualization no god forms nothing okay. only normal breath on normal only breath. normal breath just observe the normal, normal breath which is happening which is happening in this part in this part okay. going is coming out this is a path okay just have an observation that's all okay. after some time you forget that also you forget that also you enter into the the deep state that means you will enter into the emptiness or the so called the uh, like vacuum vacuum complete way empty emptiness vacuum blankness and something called the darkness yeah you will be you will be, be seeing that only that you will forget the breath also after some time Okay, so that's the that's the real state which you, we have to go to that state basically. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Yeah. So you are practicing how many hours? You are practicing per day. You are asking me. Ah. Yeah. yeah. One hour. One hour. Increase, increase. Okay. In the beginning, you have to increase. Yeah. So as it happens. when you are practicing a game football or cricket so if you give more practice hours you become more perfect you become perfect faster okay afterwards okay. afterwards what, what happen it becomes a habit for you yeah yeah what is minimum the time. duration minimum and maximum should be for meditation see minimum time is equivalent to your age your age is 40 years 40 minutes minimum in one sitting okay maximum time any any amount of time one of the yogi mummadivara bala yogi in andhra pradesh he has been for 40 continuous years in the meditation 40 40 continuous years no food no no water nothing 40 years yes i will all uh, you are interested so mm -hmm. we will discuss offline that uh, yogi about uh, about that yogi we used to teach about all the yogis also great yogis in in india ancient india is very very powerful my dear friends yes 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 ancient india ancient bharat He is very 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 powerful. Mm -hmm. We don't know the history, okay? We don't. We only know the history of Babur and Akbar and uh, all these Aurangzeb and uh, all these people who have uh, spoiled the country basically. Yeah. Who have spoiled this country and uh, we came to this uh, this this state of affairs because of all these people, all their yeah. invasions, all their invasions. But we we know we don't know about our ancient India anything. We don't know anything at all. Yeah, this, great heritage. The books the books currently what you are studying. in the education curriculum nothing that sort nothing that sort is teaching here mm. the pathetic saddest part mm. okay such a such a one yogi peda like is called pedabala yogi mummadi varam pedabala yogi okay mm. he has sat for 40 long years one fine day in shivaratri night he came out and by the time the entire the air is grown and full you know the like a mud mud like a hill you know just come like this but is 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 still is still uh, alive he came that day afterwards every year he came only on shivaratri again going to the meditation oh you won't you won't get any excretion no, no year whole year no. he does meditation only shivaratri yes. comes out yes i mean first 40 years he never came out that's what i'm trying to uh, tell you yes he's okay. got it uh, but uh. once he came out uh. he used to do again he used to go back Yeah, and comes only 
during yes. only shivaratri night mm. shivaratri night darshan that's all and again you go back okay and he has no education right from the child no education that's why i was telling yesterday i think uh, you know our topic also so you want to become rich you want to become rich person try signs of getting rich it doesn't depend upon what education you have yeah how big is how big is your education how long is your education how deep your education no it doesn't matter what are your thoughts are your thoughts heading to towards richness yes definitely you attract the richness in your life yes sir. your thoughts are evil if your thoughts are very nascent your thoughts are very uh, you know poor in nature you will attract the poorness in your life that is a, that's the reality of the life my dear friends all depends on you nothing else yes okay you are the creator you are the destroyer yeah nobody else there is no shiva sitting outside and doing all this the shiva is a very much which is which is within you only the lord mm. shiva the consciousness which is very much within you which destroys which constructs which reconstructs which is also going to create you are the creator you are the destroyer you are the manifester okay you are the manifester you are the manager yeah yes everything everything for yourself nobody else yes. that's why you have to take the charge of your own life mm. you have to be responsible for your own life you have to change you have to take the charge of control of all the things happens in your life don't no need to blame the god the god is replaced by something called your past life karmas the god word in your life please replace with your past life karmas all yes. that decides how you have to how your life goes on this earth planet mm. that only defines that only defines that only that only control and condition basically nothing else in this life all your past life karmas every minute what you are spending on this life in this life current life which is the design generated out of the past karmas and the future life is going to be generated as per the, as on the basis of the current life events yes so that is the today is today is the condition of yesterday the tomorrow is the condition of today there won't be any break mm. okay yes sir thank you so much sir yes uh, sir uh, one more question i mean my yeah. job involves extensive traveling morning uh, one to two hours evening to two and a half hours uh during traveling in the cab i mean can meditate i mean yes absolutely absolutely ah uh, but yeah. there will be lot yeah. of Want disturbance the other the disturbance yeah. other things so, no, th there will matter. be lot of disturbance i mean yes, how yes. do i concentrate it's okay just focus on the breath that's all focus on the breath just keep focusing sit sit uh, silently and close your eyes keep up keep observing the breath sometimes uh, you know even if you get a this empty state of mind for a 2 seconds 3 seconds also you get cosmic energy that is the that is the technique secret okay, okay. you don't need to get a long 10 minutes break of 10 minutes break in the thoughts no not required even if you get a break in the thoughts of 1 minute also it is very valuable try practicing try practicing okay. all the time whenever possible also try practicing always take an opportunity okay thank you yeah. thank you so much i'll, I'll do that right so thank you so much friends dhanyawad to all of you so let's sign off and uh, we'll meet tomorrow